I'm Eric Lanigan. I'm an attorney in Winter Park, Florida with Lanigan and Lanigan. Been practicing law for 36 years. Do a great deal of real estate litigation which involves foreclosure litigation which is something we, we read about a great deal. This is not a video that I had originally intended to make but a very disturbing course of events occurred over the last few days and that I had three different people come to me all who had had been represented by the same attorney and they all sort of told me the same story independently of each other they didn't even know each other um, in terms of nothing was getting done they didn't know what was going on and now they were told they had to move into a whole new plan um, I went and pulled up the docket for each one of those cases and I found out that out of the three cases the attorney had only filed one pleading, one document, in one out of the three cases. So now, of course, they had all run their course, and it was time to move on to Plan B because nothing had been done. So I want to give a, a minute about how do you follow up to see what's going on in your case? How do you follow up, or even so much as how do you first determine who to hire in a situation? Well, first of all, I'll give you the basics on who to hire. You, you want to look them up on the internet. You want to check with the Florida Bar. You can go to the Florida Bar webpage. You can find an attorney. And one thing it'll show you is whether they've had any disciplinary experience or problems in the last 10 years. Another thing you can do once you're in the case is any county in the state of Florida, I know that you can go to the clerk of the court website. They all look a little bit different, but you find the link to the um, civil cases. And if you know your case number, or even you can go in by your name, um, you can pull up the docket for your case. The docket is a list of all the things that have been filed in your case in chronological order. You, you can't see the document itself, but you can typically see what it is and who filed it. So if you can go on there and you can see what, if anything, has been filed either by the bank's attorneys, by your attorney, by the homeowner's association attorney, attorney and you can get kind of a feel for what's going on in the case. So I, I would highly recommend to anybody, if you are in a foreclosure action, or for that matter, if you're in any kind of litigation and you have any doubts as to what's going on in the case, go to the clerk's website, pull up the docket, and see what it says. Then talk to your attorney and compare what you hear from the attorney versus what you see on the docket, and see if there are inconsistencies or questions that you need to be asking about why, why is something filed or why does there not appear to be anything filed. Now there may be a reason, but you have a right to know what that is.